What's up, everybody? Check out this customer's classic traditional pocket. <clears throat> it's on a brine ripper. Look at that thing. It's per perfect depth. Really good spacing. Solid. I went for a low pocket <clears throat> for this traditional. I put my pocket stretcher really low, like actually not too low, like a notch below as low as you'd think is really low. So I put it about right here. Uh, for this one, I tightened everything like a lot. Like you can see the shape that it has right now. I tightened all this stuff so that it wasn't loose at all. And that's, I think that's the secret. I think there's two secrets to string uh, traditional pockets. One is keep everything tight. And two is spacing. Like I, I think it's Jeremy Thompson, Thomas, the Native American player. Uh, he plays with a traditional pocket. If you ever look at his pockets, his uh, knots are evenly spaced, or at least from the pictures that I saw, is mostly evenly spaced. This one kind of bunches, brings it in just a little here at the end. But in general, like they consistently change sizes, so it gets it starts big, goes a little smaller. That's all right. This pocket turned out really nice. Throws really nice. Low, medium whip. Good for, good for, it's an advanced stick. I was ripping shots, but it is a beginner head. So, hopefully the customer likes it. I love it. I'm sure he'll like it. It's a really nice head. You're going to enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.